palace i mean he was like just i mean he went around in a limo egyptian limo and everything was just great he had fame everybody knew who this man was and popularity and you know brethren i believe that joseph was tested more in his time of abundance than when he was even in the prison even when he was in potiphar's house because when things are going well for you it's easy to forget god and it's easy to forget your purpose your purpose is not to get a big house and so if god gives you a big house don't relax don't get comfortable because your purpose is not yet fulfilled amen and so joseph had it easy he worked for like so many of us we work many many years and we work our way up the ladder and then we get a big promotion and we turn big manager or big shareholder or something and then we start take it easy and say boy i'm going to enjoy my the, the spoils of my labor so you go the fruit of my labor but brethren your purpose is not to have affluence and, and material prosperity your purpose is to fulfill god's call on your life amen and so the palace is only a stepping stone and part of the process and i believe joseph wavered a little you know why because with all that power that he had he could easily have sent home and called his brothers and sent for his parents because they were not far geographically it was not that far but he didn't even send for a search you know what i think was happening and maybe i'm presuming too much in the scripture but i think joseph had decided that look he's fulfilling god's plan let me just take it easy now let me just focus on my life let me not just try and go back to mend any fences my brothers reject me if i go back there they might finish me off or maybe he was hurt and carrying that hurt and brethren pain can cause you not to come into your purpose because of unforgiveness but when god intervened that the brothers would come to egypt and the circumstances would be arranged by god joseph remembered his purpose and he reconnected with his mission and he said you know i have to give up my pain and my bitterness because god was in control all along and god had all of this planned so that i could deliver my family and be an incubator for the children of israel and so brethren joseph had to get past his hurt and unforgiveness and i wonder if some of us have to deal with the dams that block our destiny being fulfilled you see as you go through the process you will be hurt turn to your neighbor and say you shall be hurt it's a promise people will offend you but the one thing that can block up your womb is bitterness unforgiveness but if god has impregnated you with a vision and it's been developed inside of you unforgiveness and bitterness can stop it from coming to birth you know brethren deal with any unforgiveness and bitterness it is your response to the circumstances of life that is really important